Well, good day. I had to rip off a little more than this morning. We were running out of uh, mesh for baling, uh, mesh wrap. So got that, I'm back now. Baler's ready to go. And uh, well, the guys got the trucks empty and the combines are all serviced. So it's beautiful, it's sunny, it's hot. And uh, see if we can crush some acres today. leave that there and I got going here this morning just checking combines over noticed on Dylan's we had a uh, couple knife sections that were broke so I sent him out with my combine and I got his ready that way he could get the GPS and stuff going on mine so he has done one up and down now well, I've been fixing, so it's good. Keep them rolling. Now, the dilemma is, do I need to take my boots off when I go in his cab? I guess I probably should. Okay, we are back rolling here. I am, like I said, I'm running Dylan's combine here right now. Uh, mapping's working. Combine's working. I am worth thrashing. Okay, I've had a good run here, making lots of bales. The straw is awesome, but this pass is my last pass uh, that we combined yesterday. That's where we started today. So, I went and felt the straw to see uh, if, how, whether it was dry or where it was at. And it was a bit on the wet side, so, uh, I got one more pass here, and then on the very north end of the field, I got one pass. And then I'll have to wait a little bit to see how uh, long it takes for today's stuff to get dry. But yeah, I've made 65 bales so far. And uh, not gonna lie, this is the most fun I think I've ever had baling wheat straw. Normally we don't have this amount of straw. So it's been nice. And the guys are just about done the field. And I think they're gonna finish just in time uh, to, uh, they'll finish this field just in time. Uh, they're wanting to start that Food Greens Bank field at two o'clock. It's 20 after one, and I think they got maybe two up and downs left. So yeah, good timing. So like I said, we got a little bit of something special going on here today, uh, here in Elm Creek. Um, for myself, I kind of screwed things up here a little bit. A uh, quarter mile from being done that last field, I stuffed my combine and snapped my belt. And we were doing our local uh, Canadian Food Grains Bank project. Um, again, we've been quite involved in this. Many of our landlords and lots of area farmers very much uh, support this. What we got going on here today is, I'm gonna flip the camera. We got a local Hutter Egg Colony here, uh, Wingham Colony's out here. They got uh, some big class nine, I believe, claws combines. They might even be the class 10 ones, I'm not sure. They got three of them running. And we got another farm here, uh, Ian and Ian Daniel and uh, Harry Lepp, they brought in their two John Deere S680s. And the idea was we were gonna bring, bring both of ours in. But anyway, long story short, mine is not here. Uh, went to get, somebody went to go get parts for it, but I'm driving uh, Dylan's right now while he's having lunch. He did the first loop and I'm on the second, so. Uh, Canadian Food Grains Bank is a government funded charity I guess or I'm not sure how you want to look at it but the idea is feeding the world that cannot afford to feed themselves and um, so when money is donated the, uh, 
the government matches it. So I forget it. It's actually more than a one-to-one -one ratio too, and I forget all of that. But so this project, a lot of the time, money, inputs, all that kind of stuff, a lot of it is donated, and uh, and then the profits will go strictly to this organization called um, Canadian Food Grains Bank, and they will then take that cash and distribute food in parts of the world that cannot afford to or are in crisis, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that is a little bit about what our fun thing is today. What makes it really super fun is, yes, we have two combines. Things don't take long, but when you put six, seven, we've had as many as I think 11 combines in this 80 acre field. Um, it doesn't take long. And I had done the quick math and with the seven combines that I was expecting here, including ours, I was thinking 40 to 45 minutes to do 80 acres. And we're gonna be a little, probably a little bit more than that right now, but, um, but we will see.
find that 80 in an hour. So it didn't take long to be acres. I'm thinking the yield is right around 60. Okay, Arch got back with the belt just as we finished that food grains field and uh, Daryl's gonna make sure that uh, everything is okay. We had this happen to us once last year. We're not sure why I did it. And anyway, it's like a ball got rolled up between the front feeder hose and the drum of the, the header. And it took a we end up having to take the header off. Anyway, we got it. So Daryl's got to do a bunch of that just to make sure he doesn't blow another belt. And then they're going to head out there. I quickly went out there and grabbed a sample from Dylan. He's out there combining. And moisture is right around 17 and a half. So <clears throat> it's Saturday uh, and they're calling for a chance of rain on Monday. So we're going to we're gonna harvest that. We're going to throw in the bin and uh, put it away so see at least what we can get done that's the only field that we believe we have left that is even that dry so and I'm gonna keep bailing Parker loaded up this semi we don't exactly know where we want the rows but uh, we got this semi nice loaded with the wheat bales and now he's leveling this area off where we want to put them so fed Haley and Parker they're off busy picking bales thank you much love you you betcha What's on the menu today? That well, looks like pizza casserole with some Caesar salad and chips. There we go. 
and with the rain in the forecast, the guys are harvesting over there. They're combining about two miles away from where I am. And they're actually starting on the east side of the field, working their way west. We got a strong west wind. That way I can go in there and bail and we shouldn't have any issues. But first, before I head out, I need to fuel up. I need to grab some more mesh just in case I run out. And uh, yeah, just do a bit of maintenance before we, uh, before we go and then we'll head on to that quarter. Hey everybody, starting to roll in here. I got Peter on top of the bin there, checking to make sure everything's good. The yard's filled right up, I gotta figure out where to put everybody. But, uh, once we get this truck unloaded, we can pull the auger down. And then we're gonna unhook the headers and put the calm lines away for the weekend. So, simply put, we gotta wait. Don't wanna wait, but we gotta wait, which is good. Crop's coming in good. We're thankful for that. It's just testing my patience. I think I have a problem. I had two up and downs left. And I'm thinking I broke my chain, my pickup chain. you can't see it but yep chain is broken my connector link broke all right well not the way I was hoping to end not the way I was hoping to end it but uh, I got like 140 bales done so I had a good day. We got lots of wheat straw put away and two up and downs left, so that's not too bad. But anywho, that's a wrap. That's a week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good one.